Yes, I was trying to think, how many books have you written? As I say, I, I'm not quite sure, actually. You lose track, 13, 14, 15, maybe? Um, yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they're not all fiction, are they? No. Um, a couple of biographies, one of them about the Countess Markovitz, who's the Irish rebel who was the first woman to be elected to the House of Commons, actually, but she never took her seat because she was then IRA. Um, fascinating woman. And I've always loved thrillers. They're so tidy. You know, the baddies get their comeuppance and you find out in, the, in a chaotic world like it is at the moment, they seem to mm -hmm. uh, sort of, I think they provide a, a way out. Of, of Moral people. framework. Yes, mm -hmm. I do actually. And, uh, and I've always loved them anyway. You know, Raymond Chandler is probably my, my great hero. And um, so I went into thrillers changed my name into Ariana Franklin. Why did you change your name? Well, because a new genre, a new... Um, I was advised it would be a good thing by my agent. And that was a purely commercial thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Dr. Johnson says, nobody but a fool writes except for money. And, um, and it, it did remarkably well, the first one, Mistress of the Art of Death. Um, so very well in America. Got on the New York Times bestseller list. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> And won awards? And won an award. Um, and won, then, you won two, didn't you? I won Ellis the Peter. Crime Writers uh, Ellis Peters Award for historical thrillers over here. And what I'm most proud of, I got the um, Swedish Crime Writers Flintax, which I have now got we, in. A... We could get a shot of that. <laughs> it's, it's stone, yeah. isn't it? It's, just... it's not. It's a proper it's flintax. Like a, Your a, father was terrified. Terrible. Well, I mean, the Ellis Peters is incredibly prestigious. You must be very proud of it. Yes, I've that. been nominated for it again this year. You're fantastic. Yeah, I won't get it. I didn't think they'll give it to me twice, but it was... You um, didn't think you'd get it the first time? No. It was <laughs> absolute surprise to me because your dad and I went... Um, is it all right to talk about your father? Yes. Oh, um, him. Uh, we went to the award ceremony and everybody had said you had the hope of getting it because they knew how nervous I would be so that um, I could relax. And there we were, happily swigging back the champagne and talking to everybody and they suddenly announced that Ariana Franklin had won it. So I s Did you think, who? <laughs> yeah, I did for a second. And uh, so I staggered up to the podium. No speech, of course, hadn't got one prepared at all. Sank everybody pissed. in sight. No, I wasn't pissed. And, um, and staggered back. We had a lovely evening. Came home singing on the train. <laughs> um, so why do you write? I joined a newspaper when I was 17 and I've just done nothing else. And it seemed a natural progression when you and Emma were little and I had to stay home and needed to work. Did some freelancing and, and did this novel I'd always wanted to do on Henry II. And that, that, yes, that was, the, that was the first one, wasn't it? And yeah. it was, um, but it took a lot of time to research, didn't it? About 15 years. Wow. But I got to know the 12th century very well. I can walk around in it now, virtually. And, uh, and I've set these latest thrillers, the Adelia series, in them. And, um, and people seem to like it. And, uh, you never wanted to do contemporary stuff? Not really. Um, I did one, uh, well, not really contemporary, called The City of Shadows, under mm. uh, Ariana Franklin, which was set between the wars to... There's still history there, isn't it? I suppose it is to you. Yes. <laughs> isn't to me. No, 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 but I mean, you know, it would be considered historical. Yeah. You've never... Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't. Why, do you think? Um, I don't think there's enough history told, to be honest. Uh, it's no longer... It's, it's just an optional... Um, subject in schools um, and I don't think we'd be in the economic mess we are if the people in charge had read history um, and knew how these things come about um, and it seems to me extraordinary that to, kids are brought up not to know you know where the ground they stand on it, it comes from and uh, so I'm starting at the very beginning, which is when our laws, we know it, began under Henry II. And, um, and people are very surprised and, and fascinated. I mean, I get a lot of fan mail, especially from America, um, and they're, they're terribly interested. And what are you writing at the moment? Well, I'm writing the... Um, I've got a, another Adelia book to come out next year, and I'm writing the fourth. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
What tips would you give to aspiring writers? I would say just keep writing um, and because the only way to learn to write is to keep on writing, it seems to me. I, d I don't know any other way. Than, you know. And read, of course, a huge amount. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to take this dog out now. Good. About time. <laughs>